I'm my team reporter Sarah Plake. In April, we learned that Robert Courtney, the disgraced pharmacist who diluted cancer drugs, would get out of prison and serve the rest of his sentence on home confinement. Well, on Wednesday, it happened. He was transferred from FCI Englewood in Colorado to home confinement in Missouri. And this came despite many victims, family members, and state lawmakers opposing it. The Bureau of Prisons told us Courtney is getting out on time credits under the First Step Act. The First Step Act was passed in 2018 to reduce prison population and let nonviolent offenders out. The Federal Bureau of Prisons would not tell us anything more about the release, but one of the victim's families got an alert that a halfway house in Springfield would monitor Courtney at home. During the investigation in 2001, Courtney admitted to tampering with 72 drugs, mostly cancer treatments, that amounted to more than 98,000 prescriptions, which affected more than 4,200 patients and resulted in the deaths of hundreds of people. We talked to one of the former FBI agents who worked on the case, who is also a pharmacist herself. She says she's in complete disbelief that anyone in the federal government would agree with Courtney's request for release. Read the case. On, on, on the surface, it may not seem violent, but read it. And, uh, you know, basically, he's a mass murderer. Uh, we were unable to charge him with that. Not like we didn't look to that, but couldn't meet that burden of proof. And we wanted to make sure he went away. But he doesn't deserve to be out walking the streets. And we also got a statement from a victim's family. It says, quote, on the behalf of our mother, grandmother, great grandmother and sister, Sarita Sapp, our family is totally devastated and sickened that our justice system has failed our family. Not only did Robert Courtney victimize our family and thousands of others, but now our justice system as well. Courtney's sentence is up in May 2026. He's 71 years old. I'm Sarah Plate, KSHB 41 News.